So I've been thinking again. <laughs> um, so I want to talk a little bit about alpha fem females. Alpha females, um, I love alpha females. Um, but since embodying alpha female energies, I've realized that we are toxic masculinity. See, I chose a feminine vessel. This body is all feminine and feminines are not supposed to worry about survival. They're not supposed to worry about um, how they are going to provide um, because they're supposed to guide. But we don't know what to guide and build if we don't have a masculine in our life. Um, so trying to embody both aspects fully masculine and fully feminine um, has been hard if I was neutral in both of those energies um, I would have a masculine beside me but yeah um, and I'm very choosy with that okay my masculine has to possess um, three things to fully be able to touch everything. Okay, one is you have to have moral standards. That means you don't lie, steal, or cheat. Um, and I understand some white lies is, is, is fine. Um, but if you can understand you don't need those white lies, the truth, um, is better than some of those little white lies can dissipate and you'd be so divine. Um, but to um, responsible, you have to be responsible. That means responsible providing for yourself and what you want, like your children or your lover. Um, and then three would be um, protection. Like you'd have to possess this fierce type of energy that wants to protect the fuck out of me, me, all of me, my voice, my, my learning, my knowing, my lessons, my, all of it. Like you want to protect me. Um, Since being in my masculine energy, I know how to provide for myself. I know how to protect myself and I know my moral standards. So I feel this energy that I'm phasing out of, like um, shedding of the skin, um, just breaking cycles, ending a whole phase and then starting to create um, another one. More patterns, better patterns. Um, I love all the shadows on my window. I like to park and look at the sun when I try to talk. <laughs> um, I just, think that I don't want to be in my alpha energy anymore. I want to, I want an alpha in my life. So I think I'm going to change some stuff up and change some of my energies and allow the universe to <clears throat> start bringing me uh, potential partners and I'll look out for them when they come. I'll be able to smell them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, probably so. <laughs> um, so if you are an alpha female and you 
are tired, you're getting exhausted, um, burnout seems to be um, a reoccurring thing, that's because we're not made to be masculine. We're made to be feminine. We chose a feminine vessel. Um, and the feminine vessel is fragile, but also very powerful and life-giving. And that's why we need a strong masculine beside us to protect us. And I require a very strong, very aware masculine energy. And I... I've noticed patterns within certain, um, I'm not even going to get into that yet. Um, let's just stick to, in general, masculine and feminine energy. I'm not going to go in deep into my personal experiences. Uh, I will, but not in this video, not, not right now. This is just a short little, because I feel talkative and I just came to this awareness this morning. Um, and that I no longer need my animal totem energy. Um, and I'm gonna miss this, this thing. This has been a comfort for me since I left my husband. Um, because I wasn't, my husband wasn't protecting me. He wasn't, um, he wasn't even a good provider because he he just has a lack mentality um, but he could not protect me sorry he could not protect me in my voice and what I was knowing and what I was helping him with like um, that man went from complete narcissist to empath within 20 years of being with me I'd got him to understand physical abuse was harmful. Um, I got him to understand that animals have feelings and um, are emotional creatures. Um, and just to help himself embody what he was meant to be, um, which is a coach and a father. But if I wouldn't have stayed with him throughout his narcissistic um, patterns, we would not have been able to break them. Um, and although he will not openly tell people I did this, he does tell me personally that I did this. And that's enough confirmation for me, even though most people will probably think I just left a really good man, which he is a really good man. He is a really good man now. Um, if I would have left him 20 years ago, he'd still be a fucking asshole. But, um, and selfish <laughs> but no I did the world a huge favor by um, helping him with his generational curses that he wasn't able to see he still has some mother wounds and things like that that he needs to forgive and move on but until then um, he was using me as mother energy and I'm I'm not a mother energy to my lover I will never be a mother energy to my lover I will show my lover how good of a mother I can be but if I have to mother him specifically mm -mm. no 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 I need someone who loves themselves provides for themselves um, wants to protect women and children um, and just needs a divine feminine that knows how to guide, knows how to get things, is resourceful, um, and flowing in her life-giving energies. Because most women, let's just say it for what it is, most women are not flowing in their feminine energy. They are flowing in their toxic masculinity. Okay? You can't be an alpha female and expect to still flow. Um, I realized within being fully in my masculine that I was depriving my feminine. And when we deprive our feminine, um, we get so, so imbalanced. Um, 
it's not worth it. Um, you start to feel, I start to feel this peel away from myself. Like when I, when I left my husband, I felt this embodiment of where I meshed together. Um, but since having to be in survival mode and protective mode and all of that for myself, um, I'm starting to feel myself rip more apart because that's not, it's not how we stay in balance. Um, so I am welcoming a divine masculine into my life. Um, and I'm trying to retract out of my masculine flow because it's like so heavy. It's flowing outward out of me right here like in this area, and my feminine is sunken back. So I need to get them back even level. And when I feel that leveling out, um, it'll probably be a couple couple weeks. But And I think Venus being in retrograde is really helping everything because it's like dumping everything out of me. And since I'm a triple Venus, um, I really feel these energies uh, to the fullest. And... It doesn't just um, it doesn't just affect me, you know, spiritually, emotionally. It affects me physically. Um, anytime Venus is going through her phases or um, rephasing, I feel all kinds of energy. Um, and then all of this moon energy in in August right now is really taking its toll on me as well um okay it's 801 <laughs> just making sure I wasn't late for work um I had um a call this morning and I was talking Reiki with this guy and um I've been talking to this guy for about a year now and he is starting to really embody and notice his own uh, masculine and feminine energies. And um, I think I'm finally going to do a Reiki session on him this weekend. So I'm really excited to uh, meet this guy in person that I've been working with for a while. Uh, I just know so much of his life and his story and uh, his relationship stuff. And um I don't, if he never would have reached out and, and seeked my guidance, um, you know, he would be stuck in misery, uh, with his self and his masculine and feminine energies. Um, but now since he realizes everything and it can put and apply those to the patterns in his life, um, he's able to like rebalance his abundance, rebalance his um, self-care, rebalance his uh, consciousness, like his own, what he was born with. And so him embodying his truth and his love um, has opened up so many doors for, um, for opportunities. And I just, I wish everybody would come to me and talk about their stuff so that I can give them a little word of advice. <laughs> um, anyways, I got to get off here. Um, so that's an update on my energies and way to go Venus. I'm super proud of you um, doing your thing. Please go back and direct so I know what to do.